like you, Rabbit. You're all right. You're all right as well, honey. But you gotta stop calling me honey. Sure. Here's a prison. Help us get the weirdo into a cell. I'm out of here. Time to wash the streets clean of these weirdos. Best of luck. What in the name of God are you Neanderthals doing? It's just a little experiment. How do you expect me to rest with that abomination growling beside me? Stop whining. You'll get used to him. Are you insinuating a permanent stay for this denizen of hell? He'll probably be quieter than you, anyway. There's your zombie. Or to be more precise, your weirdo. So, how's about that round of scavenging? Shit. So it is true? What more proof do you need? I don't know what to say. You could start with, you guys sure were right about the weirdos. I guess, uh... Do we have a deal? We'll release you, and in return... You'll go scavenging with us. All right. Larry, break that lock. Before we go, Hercules, how about some trading? Uh, let me see what you have, mortal. See you later, Stripes. You're not serious, are you? What's the problem? You want me to rob a gas station? Do you want to know why they locked me up in the first place? You robbed a gas station? Yes! We don't want you to burglarize it. We want you to... Loot it. It was the only crime I ever committed. Dude, you saw the state of the city. How can you think this is illegal anymore? There's no more society. I guess. I'm just very uncomfortable about this. But okay. A deal's a deal. So, what do you want me to loot? Is there a fridge? Yeah. Mmm, here are some overpriced snacks. You see some real food? Yeah, there are some cans. By the way, we just want to thank you for selflessly looting these items for us. What do you mean? Won't we share the loot? Well, no, the deal was... We'll save your life by busting you out of jail, and you'll loot for us. You were not very specific about this. We saved you from dying in there. I don't know about that. We already agreed on the deal. What, are you reneging now? I'm not reneging. Feels like you are to me. It's just... <sighs> fine. You can have all the loot. Let's just get it over with. Oh, shit. Hank, look! Zombie Carl! Hi till he passes. There's a zombie? Oh, shit. He's seen me. Hide, quickly! He's heading for the gas station. Okay. It's just a parrot. I think I can handle him. Who ran the gas station? You're not a zombie? Oh, and, uh... This isn't what it looks like. <laughs> they, called me, they told me it was called scavenging now. This is my place! <laughs> 
I am so sorry. Carl, this is getting a bit ridiculous. How the hell are you alive now? Oh, it's, uh, it's you two. Found another victim? What are you talking about? Ha! Do you think you're the first animal they tricked like this? They, they told me it's a zombie apocalypse. Am I just robbing the fucking gas station? You just rob... You're robbing my place, bitch. No, no, no. It is the zombie apocalypse, and you're not robbing anything. Wait, was the zombie at the prison just an actor? Those pricks keep calling me a zombie too. They think everybody's a zombie. Slow down. It was a real zombie. There are zombies everywhere. Just look around. Dude, would you tell me what's going on? I've been locked in prison till now, and... I'll tell, tell you what's going on. They're working you real good. Carl, you son of a bitch. You better cut it out. That's it. I'm going back to prison. No, 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 wait! Wow, Hank. Is that a religious rat? Praise the Lord, good animals. Hey, hold on a minute. What are you doing out of prison? Who? All right, now I'm completely lost. You got him to act like a zombie to trick me into robbing the gas station? You sick bastards! You don't see con artists like this every day, huh? Hank, don't fuck around, we'll lose him. We honestly have no idea what's going on. Who are you talking to? Hey, buddy. Hank and Larry here. Oh, it's you guys! Helping others do the will of the Lord, too? This rabbit hole just keeps getting deeper and deeper with you two. So what the hell's going on? You were a zombie an hour ago. No, I wasn't. The Lord would never let that happen to me. How did you get out of jail? What jail? Oh, I feel like I'm on the last season of Lost. Nothing makes sense. Oh, everything makes perfect sense. You invented the zombie apocalypse to get me to escape prison and rob the gas station. That feels a bit far out. And trust me, brother, there are zombies all around. Hell, my brother's a zombie. God bless his damn demon soul. There are? Yeah. Wait, wait. You said your brother is a zombie? That's right. You don't share a family resemblance, do you? Kind of. We're twins. But he was always the better looking one. Oh, so we captured your brother, not you. Everyone always acted surprised that he looked so much better than me, despite being twins. Big deal. But joke's on him. He turned the first day, and nobody can tell us apart now. <laughs> You're happy to look identical to your rotting zombie brother? It's nice for a change. Okay, okay, so the point is... We didn't lie about the zombie apocalypse. Uh, yeah, okay. It would be a pretty insane con anyway. <laughs> I'll be on my way now. May the Lord be with you, brothers. Take care. What's left to loot? Uh, some booze and cigars. That's it. I'm coming back. Here's the loot. I guess we really are in the middle of the zombie apocalypse. Yeah. Wow. It's a bit too much to take. But I'll have to figure this out. I need to go check on some animals. Good luck. You too. So what's with you? Why are you trying to sabotage our business, you little creep? To get back at you! Why? What the hell are you avenging for? For... for... Uh, uh, for... Uh, I just... I don't know. Oh, yeah. For hitting me with that pipe. You hit me right back. And then you turn those bulls against us. 
Wait. When I think about it, you're responsible for pretty much all our problems so far. That's what you get for messing with me. And how come you're not a zombie all of a sudden? Well, you suck an egg already. No, really. We saw you walking with a group of zombies a few hours ago. What was that about? I saw your mother walk with a few. You seriously don't remember? Your mother? All right, screw this. There's no talking with him. We're leaving. All right. This explains the zombie rat mystery, but there's something I'm still not getting. Zombie Carl? Zombie Carl. We both saw him walking with a group of weirdos, right? Maybe they were his drinking buddies. They attacked Badger. They were zombies for sure. Right. Hmm. I have a theory. You know how in some movies there are ways to blend in with the zombies? Like in The Walking Dead, you can cover yourself with their guts to make them think you're one of them? Yeah. What if, in reality, getting blackout drunk lowers your brain activity to that of a zombie's? Therefore, zombies would accept you as their own, since you exhibit the same behavior patterns as them. Or something. Hmm. Yeah, I can see that. Right? I mean, it would also explain why he doesn't remember walking with them. We should test this theory. Totally. We'll get some animal completely smash and put it in the cell with a zombie. Oh, that's kind of... I mean, shouldn't we test it on ourselves? You feel like being chewed alive? No, but I'm confident the theory is accurate. Then the other animals should be safe too. But still, Hank, it's a bit unethical if we get somebody else to. Look, we have to act like scientists now. We need to stand aside and observe. We can't be the experiment ourselves. Well... Yeah, but this is... What do you think, Larry? The scientists go in the maze chasing the cheese themselves, or do they let some dirty rat do the job? Hank, experimenting on rats was extreme. We should be ashamed of that. It's nuts that I even have to explain this to you. Well, we're experimenting on a rat. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but this is different. He's a zombie. It is funny that of all the zombies out there, you decided to pick up a rat. I didn't decide anything. It... You knew that they're good at experiments. What are you even talking about? Good at experiments? At being the experiment. Will you cut it out? Just saying. But okay, I guess you have kind of a point. Somebody has to watch the experiment anyway. That's what I'm saying, and our theory is already 100% accurate. So they're safe anyway. Um, yeah, right. Right. Oh, by the way, I saw some booze in the guards' room. Ruby, here we are. Where's the booze, Larry? Here, some beer, some whiskey. Jeez, there's more than I thought. Holy cabbage! What? Guard uniforms. Yeah, I saw those. I wanted to introduce the authority principal earlier today. Unfortunately, the guild didn't have any official outfits. This is even better. Way better. Why? Look, these are practically the same as police uniforms. Nobody can spot the difference. You want us to pretend to be cops? I think that's a bit too much. You don't understand, Larry. Just get into one of these and I'll explain. And grab the siren. This is ridiculous. Larry, these suits will double our persuasion power. Even if we were real cops, we would have no authority at this point. It's all about the illusion of authority. We're hierarchical creatures, obeying to authorities in our nature. You'll see. This'll work wonders. An animal, pull over. <coughs> what are you doing? Watch and learn. Miss. Are you aware that you were jaywalking? Excuse me? I'll have to write you a ticket. Larry, give me the form and a pen. What form? Just a pen and some paper. We don't have a pen and paper. Jeez. I guess we're gonna let it slide this time. You know what? You seem like a brave civilian. We might be able to help you out. Help me with what? How do you feel about... Having the law on your side while scavenging? 
Why are you pretending to be cops? What do you mean pretending? We are cops! And what is that mystery machine thing you're driving? It's an undercover vehicle. We happen to be on a confidential mission when this whole thing started. So, do you want some scavenging collaboration or not? We know some lucrative, safe places to loot. Plus, we'll guide you. Only if you admit you're not real cops. Piss off. Piss off yourself. Civilian, I'll have to ask you to stop questioning my authority. I'm getting out of here. Do you want to get arrested, civilian? For what? Disrespecting our authority. See you around, Boomer. Wait, wait, wait! Ugh, cabbage. Good job. Shut up. All right, Hank. We've got to focus on figuring out this zombie camouflage thing. If this theory is true, we just might be the first animals to harness this power. There! A llama's in that building. Sir! Um, me? Yes, you. Who else? Come closer. I was, um, just looting the, uh, I mean, well, I hope it's fine. It's the end of the world, after all. <laughs> what are you talking about? Loot all you want. We're cops, you idiot. He thinks he's busted. Oh, shit. No way. Just stay in the role. This seems like code. Five nineteen to me. Is um, is is that bad? It's breaking and entering. Oh, um, I was uh. But listen, maybe we can work something out. We're looking for a volunteer for an important government study. Who are you guys? Uh, we are. W I D. Um, what is that? It's a uh, weirdo intelligence department, specializing in the recent weirdo affairs. I didn't know the government was still around. Oh, don't you worry. We're always around. Never stop doing our job. I thank you. So, anyway, uh, we need volunteers for this groundbreaking study that might change everything. What kind of study? It's called Project Blackout. Get in, it won't take long. Um, do, do, I, do I have a choice? Just get in. Okay, I I guess. Anything I can do to help. What did I tell you? Wow, I'm starting to like this. Let's go. Here we are. Oh, a uh, prison? Yep. What are you puny souls doing now? Don't worry about him. Larry, do you have the booze ready? Here it is. What's going on? Listen. You'll need to take a drink before hearing this. Oh, uh, now I'm getting a bit nervous. <laughs> it's okay. This'll take the edge off. Um, well, all right. I'll have a little bit, I guess. You'll need a bit more. Don't worry, we'll join you. Let's do this. What the hell are you talking about, Hank? You can't even see with those lenses. I bet, I bet if I, if I showed you TN and IPS monitors, you won't be able to tell me which is which. No, Hercules, dude, listen, listen. Go for IPS. Don't listen to Larry. Never, never listen to Larry. For the last time, I'm not looking to buy a wretched monitor. It's the apocalypse, and I'm locked in a prison! You're a real party pooper, you know? I'll eat your liver! Because... because you like being toxic? And there's toxic stuff in the liver because of... Like, alcohol? <laughs> <laughs> it's so 
stupid, Larry. So dumb. Liv liver is dumb. Why doesn't it just, you know... Oh, Hank! Hank! We're there! Shit, where are we? I mean, we're there with the booze. We're ready. What? Oh, the, the zombie test. Totally. Buddy, you are ready. I am? Uh, okay. So, um, where's the experiment? We need you to enter the cage with a weirdo. What? Are you serious? This special drink makes them think you're one of them. Oh, I... I don't... I'm, I'm not so sure about this. The government already tested this. We're just monitoring some minor adjustments. They did? Zombies really think you're one of them once you drink this? Yes. Hundreds of tests confirm this. Now we're... Just testing some details. Oh, well, okay, I guess. If it's really safe... Absolutely. Come on, go in there. Oh, guys, I really hope you're sure about this. No worries. Yeah, is it, is it really necessary to lock the cage? You don't want him to escape. C can you please not? Ah, there he comes. Stay calm and pretend to be a weirdo yourself. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Holy shit, it actually works! No fucking way! You guys are surprised? N no! <laughs> oh, we meant. The small adjustment worked. <laughs> what adjustment? Actually, can you can you just let me out? Yup. All right, guys. I better get going then. It's dark already. Take care, buddy. You were a great help. We know how to blend in with weirdos. Amazing. But it's getting really late. Maybe we should call it a day. Nah, let's do one more scavenging. I'm feeling good about this now. All right, just one more. I was... I was never fine with your drunk driving, you know? Yeah, you always make a big fuss about it. But now I think it's okay. There's no one else on the road during the apocalypse, after all. Right, and if you hit someone, nine times out of ten it's a zombie anyway. Watch out, a squirrel! Ah, our next prospect. Yeah, let's talk with her. Hey, miss. Hello! Yeah. Wow, this is quite a sight. What, what do you mean? Two drunk animals in a rape van, pretending to be cops. Hey! Actually, rapists are still in prison, thanks to us. Well, we did release one. But wait, how did you know we were pretending to be cops? Larry, for fuck's sake. Other than you just admitted it, those are guard uniforms. How can you tell the difference? Used to be a cop. Hank, this'll be a difficult one. Listen, we were looking for somebody exactly like you. We found a place with tons of goods. But a very challenging place to scavenge. And what do you need me for? You see... I broke my hip a few days ago. And Larry... Bless his soul. He is very sick. 
from what? Brain tumor. He's, he's really starting to lose it. So we can't really do the scavenging ourselves, you see. So you want me to help you do it? Well, at first we just wanted to check if you're okay, walking on your own and all. But now that we know you're actually a policewoman, we feel like... Somebody as powerful as you could help us out. Stop blowing smoke up my ass, Rabbit. What do you want? Well, we have a proposition. We'll bring you to this... Great place for scavenging, and guide you through it. And you want me to scavenge it for you? Yes, but in return, you can keep... 50% of the loot. Hmm... It's in my nature to help animals. But you're asking for a lot. Look... It's nothing fairer than 50-50. You'd help us, and it'd still keep a lot of stuff. I guess. All right. Fine. Just one moment, Hank. What influence tactic was this? It's called pity fraud. Come again? Eggers do it all the time. You know, we're seriously crossing the line here. Hey, I don't like it either. But it works. It was the only way to get a reward. Come on, it's getting dark. This was your special scavenging place? A school? Um, yeah, but people were barricaded here for a long time, so there should be plenty of resources. I'm sure they took them when they left. Nah. They were evacuated with a helicopter and couldn't bring the stuff. How do you know this? We... We're passing in our van and saw it happen. Hmm. That's quite the timing. Oh, this is bad. What is it? Too many doors and corners for weirdos to ambush me. Keep your eyes open. You better keep them open as well. There are a few items left. Some cans. And a few books. That's all. Does it look safe enough to go to the second floor? Yeah, safe from what we can tell. Okay. No weirdos so far. Wow, but I see a lot of stuff. Get busy. I don't know if I can carry all of this. We'll have to choose. Hmm. Bunch of medicine equipment. I gotta admit, this was easy. Told you. All right, head on back. Shit, Hank, look down. There's a bunch of zombies outside. Zombies? Well, weirdos. Are you serious? Oh, 
Oh shit, they're inside. Fuck. What do I do? Are there any doors you can lock? Yes, yes. But that won't keep them for long. What now? I wouldn't be that worried. You wouldn't? Are you fucking... Take it easy, Climber. Listen, you're in luck with us. We have a secret weapon. You have some guns on you. Thank God. Hurry up over here. Well, not exactly. But we have something even better. Stop building it up and just say it already. She, um, she needs to appreciate the situation. Appreciate? I'm gonna get eaten alive here. No, you're actually very lucky that this happened. You're about to find out a secret that animals would kill for. For fuck's sake, Hank. All right, all right. We know how. Uh, but, wait, 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 wait. You'll have to sign a non-disclosure for this one. Is this a joke to you? But I guess we'll have to do a verbal one. Why did I need this? Sorry, sorry, but this is a top-shelf secret. Ugh, fine. Yes, yes. Consider it fucking signed. Just help me already if you know how. Good, we have a deal. Listen, we know how you can camouflage yourself and fool zombies. Really? How? It's gonna sound a bit crazy, but we tested it already and it works. What is it already? They've almost broken through. If you get extremely intoxicated, they'll think you're one of them. Are you serious? Trust me, it works. We tested it. They can probably sense your brain waves or heartbeat. Don't explain the science, dog. If it works, it works. What other choice do I have than to trust you idiots? But wait, where is she going to find booze in school? That's a stupid question. In the first drawer she opens, just find a teacher's desk. All right. Here's one, but no way they have. Oh, actually, there's a bottle of whiskey in here. Wow, what a surprise. A drinking teacher. But I don't have time to get drunk. Go to the roof. There's one more door to hold them. Okay, okay. There, I blocked it. Now start drinking like your life depends on it. Ah, uh, shit. All right. Look, look, look. I don't remember that episode. Are you making this up? No, she said Dracarys and... Are you there? What? What? What was that? The squirrel! The squirrel? What squirrel? Did you idiots get even drunker? That we did. Why the fuck are you still drinking? So the weirdos won't hurt us. Duh. You can't really judge animals for drinking anymore. It's for our own safety. Ugh. Listen, I finished the bottle. What now? I don't... Why are you asking who... Larry, who is... Wait, I know, I know! What the hell? No, no, no! Don't worry, I got you. I remember the plan and, and all... We're good. You should go talk with the weirdos now. Who talk with weirdos? Oh, oh, shit, right, right. Sis Squirrel, from, uh, from today? For fuck's sake, Hank. Maybe you shouldn't be drinking as much at this age. You're slipping. No, 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 no I remember now. Go talk with him. The, the weirdos. What the fuck is wrong with you? What? Oh, fuck. They've almost broken the door. Open it. Wait just a moment. I'm getting a little bit of a bad feeling about this. What if it doesn't work? Of course it'll work. Did when we tested it yesterday. That was today, Hank. What? No. God, please help me. But, but we were chill and she's filled with adrenaline. Plus, she only drank half a handle of whiskey. Squirrel, if I were you, I think I'd actually rather jump into that garbage container. Are you insane? Do you realize how high up this is? 
I've seen animals jump from higher places and land in the garbage without a scratch. Yeah, me too. Oh, but wait, what if we honk? They're inside, they'll barely hear us. Hmm. Jump into the garbage container. You're not serious. I'm sorry, but this is the safest option. Safest? Don't you see how insanely high this is? Nah, it only looks high because you're looking from above. Because I look from ab- Oh my god. What madness made me get involved with you two? Look, weirdos almost broke the door. It's better to jump now. No! Can't. I won't. Jump! Do it! Ah! There you go. We knew you could do it. Great job. Amazing job. She did great. Yeah. Squirrel? Squirrel? Come on. Oh shit, Hank. Lady, stop messing around. I don't think she's moving. What, that little jump got her? Well, it was pretty high. So what? She jumped in the garbage. She's not moving. Maybe garbage isn't as soft as we thought. Where the hell did we even get the idea that jumping into garbage is safe? Movies? Fuck. It's probably even more dangerous than jumping on sidewalk. Maybe she landed on something sharp. Shit, we gotta stop making decisions based on movies. Uh, uh, uh. Look, she moved. Pick her up.